Greetings, welcome to the Pi Distill Pi Control Real Time Distillation Dynamic Column Simulator. Pi Distill can be run into the two modes one it is called steady state mode, and another it is called the startup mode. Today we will show you the power of the startup mode. The first screen, what you see in front of yourself, it is the complete pipe and instrumentation schematics of a complete distillation tower and nearby equipment like a feed tank with a pump, reboiler with the bottoms pump, and also several heat exchangers like a cooler and cooler on the outlet side of the distillation column and a heater, which is a feed heater. Also, there is a reflux drum with a distillate pump. In order to start up this distillation column simulator, first thing what we need to do is we need to start the feed pump, make it start. Finally, it will become from red to green. And then we need to open the control valve and we will make it 50%. Now slowly you will see that the green line of the trend presents the control valve behavior, so it is bumped from zero to 50%. And also to make the simulation more user-friendly, we will increase the speed. And now you will see that feed flow goes up to approximately five kilograms per minute. And this will slowly fill up not only the distillation column level, but also the reboiler level. The second thing what we need to do is we need to open the on-off valve of the reboiler steam coming from the steam generator. And we need to open the steam flow controller and we will make this valve around 35%. And now immediately you will see if we click on the column temperature trend that all temperatures will start to rise from some ambient temperature to some final steady state temperature and the complete column will be heated. I will put down the trend of the distillation profile, and now you can see that the column is getting heated. Also, we need to open the bottom pump in order to remove the bottoms of a distillation column. We will start it, and also to adjust the control valve to approximately 30%. In order to get a reflux and to cool down the column, we need to open a distillate pump and we will set the reflux flow control valve to 50%. And also we will extract the upper product and we will make HV03 control valve to 40%. Now, as you can see, reflux flow has increased and this has reduced the temperature profile. The temperature went down. And also we are extracting the upper product and we are retrieving the product back to the feed tank. In this distillation column, this is like a circulating process, but this upper product can go as a final product to any storage. Also, let us open the steam uh, or a heater uh, heat exchanger, which will increase the temperature of the feed and finally heat up the distillation tower much more. So I will make this heater control valve to 75%. And now you will see the temperature profile goes up and we are completely heating more the temperature. Also, you can take a look, if we remove all these trends, you can take a look at top temperature trend, just to see the top temperatures. 
You can take a look at the bottom temperature trend to see the bottom temperatures. You can take a look at the purity trend to see how your bottom and top purity are going down or up. And also you can take a look at the level trends of the reboiler, uh, reboiler distillation tower and the feed tank in order to see how the level behaves in your distillation process. You can make your simulation speed faster or slower to match the real dynamics of the distillation tower. Or also you can halt the simulation and zoom the trends. So now you can either remove the curves of the temperatures from the trends or you can add them more. And you can zoom, unzoom and go back to the history in order to analyze all the data. Also, when you click start simulation, your distillation tower will start at the point where you have stopped it. And also you can start the data collection and you can gather all the data or the tags of controllers and tags will be stored in the CSV file and it can be used for later analysis of the distillation tower and other calculations. If you go outside of the stability range or steady state mode of this distillation tower, you can easily click on the restart and after some initialization, you can click OK and automatically your distillation tower will start from the initial conditions where you have started the previous time. You can exit and then you can enter in the steady state mode where actually you will see the same distillation tower with the same equipment. But now your distillation tower will be running at the steady state mode and you will see all the temperatures already heated around 190 to maybe 176 degrees. And now you will see that feed pump, bottom pump, and distillate pump are activated. You can deactivate the pumps if you want. And all the valves are already open and you have a reflux flow, you have a uh, dist uh, distillate flow. You also have a cooling flow, which cools down the vapor, which is coming from the top uh, tower uh, side. And also, you can see the bottom flow and you can see the heater. It is open and active. So all other things are running. Also, what you can do if we click, let's say, on the reboiler flow controller, you can change this flow controller from manual to automatic. And now, instead of changing the controller output, you can change just the controller set point and make it, let's say from 0 0.3 to 0 0.2, press enter. And now the controller should do the remaining job if the controller is valve tuned. So also you can tune the controller by changing proportional integral and derivative and make the stability of controls much better than they are currently set. So in the nutshell, you can do all the things like in the cold startup, halt the simulation, change the simulation time period or x-axis on the trends. You can start data collection, save data, or you can restart the complete distillation column simulator and start from the beginning, which is the steady state mode. You can exit. And finally, you can exit the simulator. And that would be a short video which will give you detailed explanation of the Pi Distal real-time dynamic distillation column simulator. Thank you and goodbye.